Good afternoon anybody, Insignificant Fellow here, and welcome back to the Magical Table of Review, or whatever the hell I used to call this thing. But yes, I am now officially back home, as you'll have found out in the Father's Day video, which ended up going up late, due to the fact that on Father's Day and the day before and the day before that, and the day after that, I was moving my stuff back home. But anyway, back on to these. Thereby, of course, our favourite company, Hunger Breaks, and according to research into looking around and what other people have told me these are the last two hunger breaks products that haven't been reviewed by me thank the fucking gods and apparently this one shortly after went completely out of production because no one wanted it and it's actually been sitting in my box of food to review for about a year so I'm gonna get it out of the way before it expires and goes any rancider than it already has Come here. This is sweet and sour with pasta, like that makes it any better. It is, out of focus, a delicious meal of macaroni, pork bites, red and green peppers, chicken nugget, pineapple pieces, water chestnuts, or water and chestnuts. No, there's no, there's no comma. Let's have a look here. Is there anything we don't like the look of? Ooh, let's see if we can find the, um, the meat. Uh, Chicken nugget, 3.5%, so whatever the chicken nugget is, there's not much of it. Hmm. Ooh, but the pork, whatever is in the pork, I don't know if you can make it out, but... There, it's 85%, so that's a good-ish sort of amount of pork, I guess. <laughs> and let's have a look at item number two, which looks no better, but here it is. This is the Beef Meatball Bolognese with Pasta. Delicious meal of macaroni, minced beef, beef chops, red peppers, meatballs, and salt, essentially. Oh, that's how you cook it. So we'll okay, you. There you go. I'm not going to read all these out. 7% minced beef, beef chops, 7%. If you would like to read these out, uh, pause the video now. I'm not pausing it. But there's some oregano and some thymine here and something called Major Jam. Sound like a good artist. Right then. Which do we open first? Um, this one, because this one's the more hor the one that's out of date slightly. <laughs> I've got the tin up. Doesn't even want to clamp down onto it. Can't. I can't blame the poor girl. Hmm. <laughs> Is it under so much pressure of <laughs> gas? <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Yeah. Smells spicy. I can't tell what it looks like yet because there's tin opener. This is the ruined tin opener. Oh, and the lid's already sunk. Mm, so, whatever it is, it's majority liquid. Mm. Soupy. Uh, oh, I, do this every, I do this every bloody week. I've got nowhere to put these lids. I should, really, I should really start bringing in a third fucking plate. Oh, let me finger. And I could taste that sauce. Mm, you know what? It ain't that bad. That's the worst. Let's see what's in the can. Come here, Mr. Plate. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> it's all one colour, so at least they're consistent. And it's all on the wrong side of the plate. Mmm, 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 doesn't it look delicious? Now, because this is pasta, I guess you could eat it cold, but I'm going to put this in the microwave to sort of try and burn off any chemicals that are left hanging inside. Or any rot. Because it's well renowned that rot kills all. This is apparently a meatball. Oh, and it's on a. Oh. Bugger. Where's that gone? Ah. Great. Now the table cloth of review is going to have to go in the washing machine. Before we make any more stains, let's move this plate closer. Let's open this one. I'm guessing it's going to be sort of the same. Could you imagine if these are actually the same? My eyesight was just that piss poor. But at least this one's still in date. So there's only a 50% chance of death and poisoning at this rate. Yeah, this can open off pretty instantly. I thought these were actually actually ring pulls, which would have been a hell of a lot easier, but I don't know. I think it's a ring pull. Uh, oh, and there's consistently less goo in this one. I suppose that might be a good sign. I'd be on the point of caring. 
And it's a cylinder of pasta. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> Hungry anyone? What's that I hear you say? No, as you vomit into the nearest bin. <laughs> it's just sort of... It... There we go. Hmm. Oh yeah. That's a... Something. <laughs> now that... So they have the chicken nuggets and the other one, and this is beef? This looks like a heavily dipped chicken nugget from McDonald's. It's already broken half using the fork. Oh, lovely. Well, you know what it's time for? It's time for the microwave! Yay! Oh, fuck. And we're back with slightly warmer food and the sound of, be of um, birds in the background because it's it's warm! It's the warmest day of the year, apparently, according to my local newspaper, but they can't get anything right lately, so, you know. Apparently this was going to thunder yesterday. It didn't at all. Yeah, back to this. It's cooked now! You can't tell the difference. I mean, I can, because it's hot. So let's examine... whatever that's supposed to be. Meat. Yes, meat, of course. Unknown meat. Probably horse and nose, but yes. Meat. Hmm. That's meat that just tastes like this sauce. This sauce has overpowered everything. I couldn't even tell that was beef. You could have, that could have been an eraser covered in sauce and you would have fooled me. Alright, let's try the one chicken nugget. <laughs> just the one. <sighs> I'll scrape some of the sauce off so I can get some of the flavour. Get off. Get. Eh. Uh, I'll tell you what, the things you do for YouTube. Yep, that, that's a chicken nugget. In, in some lunatic's mind, that's a chicken nugget. Oh my la- I don't know if you can see the, the cross section of that, but um... That ain't chicken, sunshine. That ain't chicken, that ain't even in focus, there we go, that'll, that'll do. Well, that ain't chicken. That does not have the texture of chicken. That doesn't have the texture of any known beef product. Or chicken product, lamb product, any product on the face of the earth. Jesus wept. Ugh. I don't know what I've eaten. I think I genuinely have just eaten, a, eaten an eraser or a soft chunk of wax from a candle. Oh, and there goes the dog. Anyway, let's try this. Now this is supposed to be pineapple, or else what that due to the colour it is, it looks like a chunk of carrot. Let's try this. You can't go wrong with pineapple, he says. That had the consistency of a cucumber. How can you get pineapple wrong? It's a fucking fruit. Coming off a tree, I think. I forget how pineapples grow. Or bush. Somehow it grows in the world. Um, you, you dice it up into bits and you put it in a can with the rest of this mush. How could it... it, it ambient. How the hell? It tasted more like a cucumber. It didn't taste like anything like a pineapple. It was... Was that a cucumber? I, I think that was a cucumber. I'm not going to get any sleep now because of this. Jesus. Let's try a pepper, see if they got that right. Oh, they've got the consistency right. The cooked pepper is this flibbly. Oh, hooray! That's actually, that's actually correct. That's a pepper. Well, piss I didn't done. Oh, I'm starting to realise why this was a quid. Anyway, let's try the pasta. Let's try not spilling any over me. Yeah. It's pasta, but it's very soft, overcooked pasta. It just tastes like mush. Let's go on to item number two before I vomit.
Item number two. Now, item number two, I'm not very happy with item number two because it exploded, as you can see from the splatter, all over my microwave and I had to spend five minutes cleaning the inside of it out. I'll be shouted at by Mother Dearest. But anyway, let's get into this. We'll start with whatever the fuck this is supposed to be. The letter L in food form. Oh, it's beef. Oh, I see it, and it's it's nice beef. It tastes like beef, which is a, a change. And the consistency, um, corn beef or burger at best. Not really beefy. <laughs> well, you know, I don't expect whole chunks of beef for something that cost a pound, and then immediately went off sale because no one wanted it. But you know, yeah. no, no, no. Yeah, that's not too bad. Um. Let's review the circles of meat. I don't know what these were, I've already forgotten. We'll find out. Mmm. Jesus wept. It's just a ball of grease. Just a, let's see if we can squeeze some fat out. No, it's, it's got no consistency. I actually can't. Right, now I've got licky fingers. Mm -hmm. Ugh. Ugh. Blah, blah. That just tastes like fat. Get off. Get off my fork. Get off my cutlery. Right then. And now we've got pasta and mush to try. My favourite type of mush is pasta mush. Mmm. Yeah. You'll be, you'll be unsurprised to know that this pasta's got the same texture as that. Goo. <laughs> It's just a placid mess of goo. Well, oh, we've got two chicken nuggets. Or whatever the hell it's supposed to be. A beef nugget. That's called it. That's just called the animal product. Because that's what it is. Off of you. Mm. I'd say this one's better than the other one. For sure. This one actually has some form of texture to its beef. There aren't chunks of cucumber masquerading as a pineapple in here. Um, oh yeah, both of these are not nice. Um, I'd maybe take them with me if I went camping and just have them as like a last resort if I was really really tired or just really really high. <laughs> but um, I would not eat these by choice. In fact I didn't even think I'd give these to the dog. I think the dog would bite me if I gave him this. Any of these pallid messes. But this one at least has some sort of better colour to it. This one is just some sort of day glow orange sort of thing going on. It looks red, it looks like beans, but trust me, it's orange. It's orange as orange can be. Ugh. But yes, I have been Insignificant Fallow, and this has been, hopefully, the last two things made by Hunger Breaks that I will ever have to review. Hopefully. Let's all take a moment and pray to the food gods that there are no more Hunger Breaks products. Whew. Actually, no, that's bad for me. I review crap. Oh god, what have I done? Quick, everyone on pray! Everyone on pray!